Harry became the symbol of royal disgrace. It's time for Queen to fully cut Duke of Sussex loose. Prince Harry is set to be a constant reminder of the royal family's failings according to the CEO of Republic. Graham Smith told that the royal family will face questions on why other members of the monarchy cannot follow Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's example of successfully earning their own income and achieving financial independence. Republic is an organization that campaigns for the Queen to be replaced by an elected head of state and the monarchy to be abolished. Mr. Smith said, Harry is not going anywhere, he is going to be a constant reminder of other failings in the royal family. There are going to be questions regarding why the others cannot do what Meghan and Harry have done, which is walk away and pay for themselves. During the same interview, the Republic CEO called on Prince William and Kate to follow the example set by the Sussexes. He said, there is absolutely no reason why Kate and William can't go off and earn their own way. I am sure they would be absolutely fine financially, they have millions in the bank already. There is no justification whatsoever when we cannot even afford £20 a week for the most vulnerable in society that we give millions of pounds in subsidies and palatial homes to this one couple just simply because they are related to the Queen. There is simply no justification for it. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have signed a number of lucrative contracts since leaving the royal family in March 2020. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have agreed to deals with Spotify and Netflix along with several other major firms since their royal exit. Royal commentators Katie Nicholl and Emma Jones discussed the competition between the Cambridges and Sussexes during ITV's documentary Harry and William What Went Wrong. Ms Jones stated that Kate and Prince William have learnt lessons from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry regarding their online presence. She said regarding the Cambridge. Ironically they have sort of taken the lessons from Meghan and Harry and are trying to do it themselves. Ms. Nicol outlined that Kate and William faced the possibility of being overshadowed by Meghan and Harry. She said, they were called upon by the Queen to step up to the plate, to become high profile to become frontline royals during a global pandemic. They were seen to be doing enormously important work and proved to be very popular. William and Kate had no option but to turn things around and really inject some rocket fuel into this because if they did not then there was the real risk that they really would be overshadowed by Harry and Meghan across the pond. Harry reunited with his family last week for the first time in over a year at his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral. It is safe to say there were meetings with family members and certainly Prince Harry did have some time with his grandmother, the Queen, before he went back to LA. Nickel shares. It was Prince Charles' idea to get the boys together after the wake. There really wasn't any other time as Prince Harry was in self-isolation for the days leading up to the funeral for them to get together. Nicol says the three men walked around the grounds of Windsor Castle, adhering to COVID-19 regulations. I think it was quite an important meeting and, as I said, it was Charles' suggestion. William was also there, and Harry was also happy to go along with that. And that really was the first time that the three of them, father and sons, were able to come together and have a private, informal meeting. Nicol, meanwhile, suggests that things between the family are not going to be resolved in one or two family meetings, adding that while this has been an important step, I think there's still quite a way to go. The idea that Harry's suddenly going to come around to William's way of thinking, and vice versa, I think is a way off. I think there do need to be more conversations, there's clearly still a lot of hurt, a lot of resentment, and a degree of mistrust on both parts, she adds. It's early days, but I think the hope is that come July, when we are hoping to see the brothers stand once again shoulder by shoulder to unveil the statue in memory of their mother, Princess Diana, that the relationship will be stronger and in a better place.